Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Pisces for the month of January. So on to the next year we go, and I wish everybody a happy and healthy new year, and I hope it's going to be great for everyone. Um, I'm going to use a Lover's Path Tarot deck to do the reading, and then one card from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. All right, so if you are new to my channel, the way I do my tarot readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers, okay? And those are the only cards that I read. So if more than one card falls out of the deck, I put it back in to the deck, and I shuffle till just the one card falls out. Okay, all right, and regarding me, my abilities, what I, what I am considered is a clairsentient, so I can feel what other people feel, all right? So um, with that, I can feel past, present, and future. So when I do private readings, I can feel um, people's emotions and feelings. So I can feel, like if you're involved with somebody, I, um, I can feel where they're going to go with that. I can feel what they feel. Like I can pick up their personalities. It's called reading people. So I pick up their personalities. I can I can feel if they're abrupt or rude or arrogant or um, if they are entitled. I can feel if they're gentle and kind or soft because those are the feelings that I pick up. All right. Um, I can also pick up if um, somebody, where they want to take the relationship. I feel like if they're in love, I feel, I feel like if they want to move forward. So that's how I do the reading. I'm not a mind reader, but I pick up the emotions and feelings. And I can feel where they're going to go with that. That's just, that's how I do the reading. I'm very accurate when it comes to that part of the reading. You know, I'm usually about 90% on. I get a lot of feedback with people saying, wow, you, 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 talked about that person like you knew that person. So I'm very good when it comes to doing the energy reading. Okay. Um, I'm quite like, you know, I'm not, I'm not tooting my own, own horn, but I want you guys to know that that's how I do the readings and, and how extremely accurate I can be. Okay. So, um, what else? Um, so yeah, so that's how I do my readings. You email me for a private reading. I will send you the information on how to purchase one. I have it out to you. I can get back to you in less than 24 hours and the readings are done within 48 hours. I don't like to make people wait. People are scared. Sometimes they're scared. They don't know what's going on. There's a crisis. Um, and so I, I like to be, I don't like to make people wait for that. Okay. All right, enough already. On with the reading. It's three minutes in. Okay, so I will shuffle and ask what the messages are for Pisces for the month of April, uh, January. Okay, Pisces for the month of January. What are the messages for Pisces for the month of January? Pisces for the month of January. What are the messages for Pisces? Two of coins. Pisces for the month of January. Pisces for the month of January. Six of staves. Pisces for the month of January. Ace of coins. Pisces for the month of January. Love. Pisces for the month of January. This has come out, this just came out for Capricorn, Capricorn in the same spot. Three of cups. Not Capricorn, Aquarius. Pisces for the month of January. Princess of Cups. Pisces for the month of January. Okay. Five of Staves. All right. Okay, so two of coins. So the very first card is the two of coins, and that has to do with, that card represents the relationship. All right, two of coins. This is about choices. It's juggling and balance. The ability to juggle several situations at once. It's jobs, opportunities, ideas, opposing desires. Balance between the earthly and the spiritual world. So this card represents your relationship for the month of January. And it's really just trying to keep everything in balance. 
juggling everything to keep it to keep things in balance you can see there's two coins with hearts on it okay so this is about you juggling this relationship making sure that it's balanced both of you guys could be trying to balance this relationship all month okay all right so what's going on in their mind we have the six of staves this is about victory so when it comes to what they are thinking about this relationship they've got it I got this they're thinking you know they're victorious in this relationship this month so six of staves all right it's about triumph honor heroism it's enjoying success after much hard work and struggle so there could have been a little bit of a struggle that went on in this relationship, a little bit of hard work, but they're enjoying the victory of this relationship, getting past it and being victorious. They just got to, you guys got to keep it in balance. Okay. And then we have the five of staves for you. This is conflict. So you're feeling conflicted in some way. There's still obstacles in this relationship. In this relationship, uh, the five of wands is about rivalry, challenges, obstacles so you still know the challenges and the obstacles that are in this relationship but I feel that you're still willing to go forth you just recognize them okay all right so we have now the ace of coins their feelings and their emotions ace of coins all right so this is about growth, prosperity, the beginning of a new phase filled with good fortune, attainment of material goals, and contentment in personal life. All right. They are victorious. Okay. There is this card here. All right. This is going on to a new phase of life. There's changes in this relationship. It's good fortune. All right. It's contentment in personal life. It's prosperity and growth. So emotionally, they're going to be growing and getting prosperous in this relationship with you. Okay. All right. So next we have the Princess of Cups. All right. So this is your emotions and your feelings. Makes sense. You are a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. This is a reading for Pisces. So Princess of Cups. And it is gentleness intuition loyalty grace and talent emotional receptivity and enticing invitation all right so um even though that you know that there are obstacles you know illogically you know that there's some obstacles here whether it's distance or age or money or whatever it is you are still loyal to this person all right and it's about just um you being emotionally receptive to this person and still having your your heart open to this relationship all right how do they represent themselves on the outside there's the lover's card all right it's about partnership it's deep love it's this balance of two people together which is what you guys are trying to attain this balance right and this is about celebration okay this is um this can also mean partnership sorry friendship celebrations it's a circle of support um these two cards represent this could represent just um uh having joy with this person that you're with showing enthusiasm uh let me just see what this card says or this book says three of cups celebrations joy happiness all right so this is to come great satisfaction uh peace between family generations or enemies and a celebration involving women it's possibly a wedding you could be going to a wedding with this person um but really it is about joy and happy unions it could be with him her whoever you're involved with but getting together doing things with other people there's still new years that's to come now that, well that's january 1st but i mean this is about celebrating and having a good time with this person okay all right now let's see what's going to come up for you guys all right what are the messages what is the message for Pisces for the month of January Pisces express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture all right don't hold back make that romantic gesture with this person all right okay so go ahead and make that romantic gesture and express your love 
If they don't do it, you should do it. That's what this card is saying. So, all right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonates with you. It's not going to resonate with everyone. All right. Not every Pisces walks the same path in life. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I truly appreciate all of your support, your support and um, I hope this reading helps you. Okay. All right. Thanks again. Bye-bye for now.